as gardeners, we are always aware that we have pests in our gardens. And the only way to actually go in and identify them is to actually check on a regular basis as you walk in the evening. Just have a look at your plant, see if you have an attack of amphids, millipedes or spider mites. And that's what I've been doing this week. And to my surprise, I had an attack of mealybugs and I'm so annoyed because I've never had such a severe attack of mealybugs but then the beautiful thing is that when you do have an attack of mealybugs is you actually get to see what they look like and also you start looking at solutions and how to prevent it so my name is Alice welcome back to my channel and I'm so grateful let's walk this journey and try to understand the mealybug As I mentioned earlier, is that I had an attack of the mealybug on one of my plants. And actually, it was only that particular plant, the Chinese lantern, that actually got attacked. However, the other plants did not get attacked. So I also wondered, why is it just going for one particular plant? Now, the thing is, is that mealybugs tend to attack a plant if it's actually not healthy, in a healthy state. And so we've had to prune it completely down and let it really grow up again and put a lot of fertilizer and really keep it up. But this is the result of that infestation and this is what these mealybugs look like. They tend to attack the stem as you see here. This is where they are, there, on the stem along here. And they do even go for the back. And for a lot of people is that you won't notice the mealybug, but if you turn the underside, you do see them. Here's another one. And look, even at the top of the leaf, they're there. Now, the thing about the mealybug is you get the female and you get the male. Now, the female, it's oval in shape. And what it does, it sort of crawls around your plant and then sucks the sap from the plant and with this it adds in toxins so what happens is that when you see your leaves drooping or you see your leaves going yellow or sometimes they do curl it's basically you've been attacked and the thing about this plant uh, this mealybug is once it does sort of disseminate your uh, attack your plant you could actually lose your plant and that was going to happen to my Chinese lantern until I discovered it. Now, the thing about the mealybug is um, we understand now that it basically it um, goes in and drinks the sap and, you know, sort of uh, what happens after that is that once it does go and take the sap out, the plant is not able to photosynthesize and that's why the leaves turn yellow and the plant will die because photosynthesis is very important for the plant in terms of its food production. Now what happens with this mealybug is that you do get a male which doesn't have any wings and it just sort of hangs around and it doesn't eat, it doesn't have a mouth. Now what happens with this male, its job is only to fertilize the female and reproduce and then it dies next day. But the whole thing is that once the, the female does produce its eggs and remember the female as we've seen here is all powdery white and it does produce this wax around it for protection. What happens is that once it does have a baby, it produces again. These, ba these babies are in a sack. Once it does mature, and by the way, the, the female lays between 300 and 600 eggs. And once these uh, babies do mature, they sort of, again, wander off and cause an infestation on your bushes or even with your indoor plants. So this is why I think with the mealybug, it's better to get it under control before 
it just gets wild. Now, if we take the cycle for the mealybug, it's about six weeks to two months. And for a lot of us gardeners, sometimes we say, oh my God, I've just seen this infestation. But remember that there is a cycle of almost two months where these babies are being hatched, the babies are maturing before you can actually see the visual. So always, always do check because it just doesn't happen suddenly. It's basically the infestation was already taking place. I mean, the whole cycle was starting. So you have to be really aware of it. I think for a lot of people you think, how do I get this infestation? Now you must remember that the mealybug is that you do get this, you do visually see it at the back of your, uh, of your leaves and in the front and at the stem. But when you're trying to get rid of the mealybug, it also has uh, its eggs or its babies in the soil. So when you do have to work on sort of eradication of the mealybug, do work on the plant and the soil because the soil could be contaminated. So where do you get the mealybug? I mean, there's so many things, you know, um, it could be a plant that you bought in the nursery and you couldn't see the eggs physically, you know, you couldn't see the eggs because they're so small and you bring it home and you put it next to your other plant and suddenly you get all your plants, indoor plants, getting the infestation. So you have to be really careful about when you do buy a plant, examine it, do look at it. And then the thing is that what I would do is actually isolate a plant for at least a week or so, so that in the end, you're not putting it directly next to another plant that you can actually infestate the whole of your indoor plants, but keep it aside and monitor it. And if you do see a little white powdery <laughs> baby or female sprouting out, then you know you can deal with it then. So now the other thing is that if you do like indoor plants, for example, if you do get the mealy bug on it, I would take a damp cloth and uh, put a bit of soapy water because soapy water is actually good on getting rid of the mealybug and just keep wiping it, wipe it. I will show you the technique. So now what I would do is, as I go through, is do check the back. As we saw, a lot of mealybugs love to hide at the back. And also uh, on the stem, just go down and make sure you don't have any mealybugs. And if you do get mealybugs, just take a wet cloth with a bit of soapy water and just remove all this if there's any mealy bugs and make sure you do turn it under and uh, wipe it off. With mealy bugs if you were in a situation and let's say take this flower here plant here is make sure that you go into all these crevices here and in the crown because they like to hide in there so make sure that you do examine it you could take uh, the plant under your sink and really wash it down and try to get those little bugs out of there and that could actually be quite successful also if you do find that you do have a, a plant with um, the mealy bug just remove the soil because as we mentioned earlier those eggs could be in there and baby mini bugs so i would take it out and actually rinse out your plant and the roots and repot it and just get rid of this or put it in your compost or whatever get rid of the soil so and then make sure also that you do sterilize the pot that you were using previously because you will get infestation if you don't sterilize it. Now, as I was talking about my mealybug infestation, the one thing I, sh I should have got alerted about, which was actually the ants. I had so many black ants, sugar ants, that were going up and down this uh, Chinese lantern. And I didn't figure it out because I just thought, oh gosh, I'm, I've got an infestation of ants. So I did get the fu uh, a fumigator who removed the ants. 
But the whole thing is that if you do see your ants, is that should be an indicator that you've got some sort of pest happening. Now with the mealybug, what it does is that as it's moving along and drinking the sap uh, and, uh, and disseminating your plant, it produces a honeydew, a sugary syrup that the ants just love. And this is what the ants need. They need this carbohydrate. So they will go anywhere where the mealybug is because they have a symbiotic relationship. So what happens with the mealybug is produces this honeydew. Once it produces the honeydew, the ants come for it. And then in the end, you get a mealybug and sugar ants attacking. And the thing about these ants, they're very clever because they do protect the mealybug because that's their source of food. So that should be another indication that if you do see a cluster or a chain of ants heading towards a bush, it could be that they're going for the honeydew. And so what I usually do is um, I just use neem oil because the thing about neem oil is that <clears throat> once you spray it, it is organic. A lot of these other pesticides, they uh, I find them a bit too toxic. But what they do is that once you do spray your mealy bugs with it, they do suffocate it. So basically your problem is more or less let's say 80% solved. Now the difference is with the, with the neem oil is that it actually is ingested. So once you do ne use neem oil, is that you've got to repeat um, the application, the spraying, at least every week and make sure. And after about maybe a month of weekly spraying, you will completely get rid of that mealy bug. But at the same time is that you could, if things do get really sort of out of control, especially as we're do dealing with mealybugs in the garden, if it does get out of control, then you, do, you can go for these commercial um, pesticides. So the way I do my, um, my mixture using neem oil is I usually take warm water, like a litre, and then I add into it, let's say, soap uh, dishwashing liquid, just 2.5 ml, that should be enough, because the whole point of the dishwashing liquid is to actually allow the oil to actually mix properly in the water. And then I would put uh, maybe 5 ml of neem oil. Now, once you shake it, it um, the soapy water will uh, emulsify and, and mix it all together. And this is what I use as I spray along. And I will spray under the leaf, on top of the leaf, along the stem. And then if I do have a bit of that liquid, I would pu put it around, uh, sort of uh, pour it into the soil because of those pests that will live in your in your soil so for me it works i had another infestation and i did exactly that and it did get rid of it but remember when you do use neem oil do repeat it and keep checking and after a month of repeating it let's say once a, once a week it should actually work so fellow gardeners i hope you don't have a problem with the mealy bugs i hope i've given you information and don't forget to like and share and press that notification button follow us on instagram and i'll show you the results of my mealy bug inf infestation and what we've done and don't forget to inform all your friends to join the Red Soil Gardener because we're always here and we do answer your comments. So um, feel free to get in touch and have a lovely, lovely pest-free week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.